Hola Bulldogs, we're here to learn about Greek and Latin roots number 71 to 75. Remember to go to the place that your teacher told you to go to. My kids go to my teacher web, click on Greek and Latin roots, find the ones for this week and click there. So let's look at the PowerPoints, shall we? The first one is techni. It's where we get the word technology. It can mean art or skill. I usually think of it more as skill. For example, if you have good technique in painting, you're very good in painting. Architecture is the technique, the science of building something. The next one is very similar. It's art and skill also, ours. But I think more of art when I think about this. Creativity. If you're artistic, you're very good at creating something. If it's an artificial item, it's fake. It's not real. It doesn't occur naturally. The next root is bios. It means life. Biology is the study of life. An antibiotic is something that fights against something invading the body. Symbiosis, for example, means two different species that depend on each other. There's a relationship of two different types of life. To vivo means to live, to live. For example, you've often heard about something being revived. Revival is when something comes back to life. For example, um, an old-fashioned or a type of music can be revived. It comes back to life. Or someone who was unconscious was revived. They came back. Survive is different. Survival means there was a threat of dying. They lived over a threat and they survived. The last word is mikros. It's Greek, and it has a K in it, but when we translated it to English, we, ch we changed the letter K to a C. Microphone, a small device. Microcosm, a small world or replica um, or model. Sometimes we say the United Nations in New York City is a microcosm of the world. Every country, language, type of food can be found in New York City. Also, the internet is a microcosm of the world. It's a model. You can find every type of language or interest or nationality on the internet, too. That's it, guys. Those are the PowerPoints for this week. Please don't forget that you can go to Quizlet. You should go to Quizlet. And you can make flashcards, make a practice test, play games so that you can be ready for your Roots quiz. Also, don't forget, it's found on Google Classroom. It is open from this Monday until this Sunday night at midnight. Don't put it off. You want to get it over with quickly. Until next time, see you later.